and hi guys hi there how are all of you i hope you all are fine well my name is yusuf and i'm back on yusuf reacts well guys today i'm back again with a very interesting movie review that is there for you people the movie review that i'm going to be giving for today is going to be something that is really interesting now this movie I would say it's a quite bit unusual because it has the element of thrill it has the advent left you know element of drama and it has a bit of romance also into it now the movie that I'm gonna be talking about is going to be before a fall this movie came out in 2017 and this movie is totally non-conventional and it's totally different from the conventional movies that we guys eventually come across if we talk about this particular movie, the plot of this particular movie targets about one particular girl, how she relives her same day again and again in order to make the things perfect. The title, as I have mentioned before, before I fall, the title itself states how things eventually are. It means this thing up that she eventually does not tend to realize till the end of the particular movie that she is the one who obviously has to amend and correct all the particular things that are there what happens basically the thing which tends to happen is what the thing which tends to happen over here is this that over here we come to know about the particular element of death but the you know thing that really is so surprising and so exciting is this that this girl gets a chance again again and again every day so that she can amend all those particular things that she has done wrong if we talk about this particular girl we see this thing up that she's someone who has a very perfect life who has a very perfect life whenever we talk about a perfect life the thing that makes it say you know so much interesting and so intriguing is this that uh, she is a particular high school student who is obviously going to you know graduate and talking about that particular thing now the thing that is there is what that she has got everything bang on means a very good uh, set or a bunch of friends that she has then the second thing that makes it is she has got the most popular boy being his boyfriend and uh, at the same time uh, the next thing that makes it really cool is that she's quite famous and all the things that are there are really cool but there are other things on the other way around which are not good if we talk about this particular girl now what do you mean by that she has got a very toxic relationship with her mother her family her younger sis she doesn't like her at all and all the particular other things that are too much mismatched so all in all if we talk about it this movie you know has a different kind of a flair that eventually tends to pop up and that is what makes this movie even more intriguing so now before any due let's go on and let's start off with what this movie eventually talks about and how the movie eventually moves along what is the plot of it and especially we're going to discuss the ending which really is something which is extremely mind-boggling before going on to that i want you guys to do me a favor guys if you have not subscribed to the channel you guys need to do that because your support is something that is extremely important and i want you to press the like button comment on on my videos and share them as much as you guys can now coming back to the movie before I fall over here we come across a particular girl she wakes up in the morning and uh, in the morning it's the last day of her high school and uh, she's there picked up by a very close friend of hers that close friend along with uh, her now they move on to and pick another friend and then they move on to pick another third friend so all four of them are eventually going towards school then over there things are going on fine we see this thing up that everything is going on track so there we get introduced to a particular guy who is quite famous in school and obviously her boyfriend and uh, every girl is really you know passionate for her but that boy 
is not someone who is too much serious towards her he only wants to you know that lust that needs to be fulfilled and that's it and she's someone who also has planned that she's going to eventually you know uh, make love to him and that's how things are so that's what the whole plot is over here we see a particular guy who is really fond of this particular girl her name is Samantha and he's someone who really wants uh, this girl to talk to her now there is a story in the backdrop the story in the backdrop is this thing up that that boy had been friends with this particular girl uh, from grade 4 and eventually after that uh, you know obviously since this girl moved on he still is stuck at that particular point and he still considers this girl to be there now the reason behind that is what the reason behind that is this that like once when his father died that boy eventually was too much shattered and broken now they there were two few people who were bullying her up this girl stood up and she protected him up from that time onwards he considers her to be her hero and he's really fond of her so that's what we guys eventually come to know a girl who is extremely unconventional it means she has a hippie kind of a look everyone makes fun of her and uh, people really mock her and they don't like her she's disgusted by everyone no one wants to sit with her and so on like that so that's eventually how the thing eventually goes on as far as that girl is concerned and she just glares at her and that's it eventually there is a party that is thrown by the same boy that i just discussed about the purpose of that party with that particular boy was what that she want he wanted to grab the attention of the same particular girl samantha and he was hoping that she'll come to his house now the thing that is there is what then eventually this is how the things go along and the movie is proceeding so the next thing which we guys see is what the next thing which we guys see is the party in the party we see that the things are going very cool now everything is going fine she also has all the things planned and set and in they are sitting down over there that unconventional or unusual girl that i was talking about who was like a hippie and she was very shown as a very psychotic individual she was not comfortable with surrounding she enters that party when she enters that party the first girl that she is with she gets into a conversation with her means the lead lady over there and uh, the one who was driving the car who came to pick up samantha she exchanges words and the words eventually tend to go towards a harshness all of them tend to follow that girl calls her a bitch she calls the next one also a bitch she calls this samantha uh, to be a very confused bitch and then so on like that over there they have a small kind of a fight and that fight eventually since everyone is not comfortable with that girl's presence they eventually you know just go on like that and eventually she runs away in the forest now that's a very unusual incident that has taken place which has made everyone quite disturbed so they sit in the car after that party and they just want to go back home on their way back they come across a particular accident and when that accident strikes uh, the next day she wakes up and it's the same day again now this is what the movie eventually makes it even more interesting up the next day again she realizes that it's the same day first of all she does not believe it so she lets the day go on again that accident takes place again she dies now again next day she wakes up and it's the same day again now the thing that we come to know over here is what the thing that we come to know over here is this the third time when she wakes up now she feels that there is something that is there she needs to amend that she starts correcting all the things one by one and uh, she corrects her relationship with her mother with her sister eventually sees the reality of that particular joy and stuff like that sees all the particular things that are there and going on in this way the movie eventually proceeds on she comes back again she relives the again day but the same incident happens sometimes she doesn't die but her friends die but again when she wake up the thing remembers from the start from where she is now she's someone who's literally very confused she even tends to develop a certain side where she takes a hard side of life where she dresses up like a whore and she eventually has all those particular desires that are fulfilled that no one ever gets done so that's how the event 
eventually things go on she gets into a fight with her friends and stuff like that the story tends to reveal up the thing which tends to happen is this the girl that all of them shamed up made fun of were not comfortable with what was all because of her own particular friend she was the one who eventually needed that girl who was there with her she was there she stood up and uh, especially when her parents got divorced that girl was the one who was with her she took care of her each and everything went along she was very close with her but eventually a certain incident in the bus happened that uh, peed that girl eventually peed in uh, the bus and the whole blame was eventually put on that particular and from that particular time everyone blamed her up for that particular thing and this is what the whole thing is that that you know story is against that girl and stuff like that but the thing that again tends to happen is what she again is not able to realize after correcting each and everything that what really is wrong at the end of it she tends to come to know that on that particular day which she relives again and again at that night one person dies and the person who dies is that hippie girl now then she goes towards it and wants to figure out what went wrong especially when you talk about that hippie girl and when she went along with that that's where she got the answer to it that that hippie girl dies she is someone who plans to save that girl now from dying eventually trying to save that particular girl she realizes that it was not her that needs to die but it is she who has to die and this some something which shows that how unpredictable life is death when eventually it has it planned and when it's going to take place so that's how it's going to happen okay now this is me yusuf saying goodbye to you people i hope you guys like the review so this is me yusuf saying goodbye to you people you guys have to subscribe to the channel guys take care bye